In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a CCS adapter with your Tesla at either Electrify America or EVgo or any of the other CCS chargers out there. So there's a few steps that you got to follow. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first step is you're going to connect the adapter to the charging cable. The second step is you're going to plug that into your car. The third step is you're going to initiate the charge either through an RF ID card, a credit card, or through the app that's associated with that charger. The fourth step is once you've completed that charge, then you're going to want to stop that charge. So stopping that charge at a Tesla supercharger, you would press the button and that would initiate the stop. That's how most people do it. But at a CCS charger, you cannot, and it's not recommended by Tesla to stop the charge with that button. And in fact, if you do, then you're going to get a pop-up message that states that you shouldn't end a charge with that button. So what you do is you stop the charge either on your uh, touchscreen in your car or from the charger's touchscreen. Uh, you can also do it from the app as well. The next step would be to pull out the cable. So you don't press the button when you do this. You just uh, stop the charge that unlocks the adapter you pull it out with both hands and then you remove the cable so those are the steps we're going to go through so let's go through each of those steps so step one is connecting the adapter to the cable so you're going to take this plug it in securely and you're going to plug it into your car and then this is where you would go on the app or use your RFD tag. So it's asking me to do one of those. So I'm just gonna use this. Okay, so now that you've completed the, the charging session, you do not press this button to stop the charge. What you'll do is go in your touch screen and stop charge there or do it on the charger. And I'm gonna do it on the charger. So from this charger, you're just gonna press stop and then end the session. You can see now it has ended the session and it just unlocked the, the adapter. So now that the adapter is unlocked, you do not press this because it will separate from here and this will cause this door to come down. You'll grab it with both hands and just pull it out. So you're just pulling it out. And this is where you press the button now and release the adapter. So that's all there is to it. And then you just replace that cable in the docking station. 